Basically, it started off in a hostel. It's where like most of it came from, and it was my whole experience of being in a hostel, kind of being out there in the world, and everything else in between, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So that's my main influence at the time. But it's a very intimate album. I called it Speech Therapy because I wanted it to be like if I was going to a therapist, these would be the things I'm talking about. Surrounded by cats, filthy cats, sitting in steps with cat sized bats. Yep, it's a fact, truly lost now. Trying to go to a better place, knowing that it, it might not always be like this. You wanna cry and wear tissues, wondering who's really with you. What's she gonna do? The whole of the UK, I represent, or I should think so. But being born here, I'm a representation of, of, of this country. <laughs> do you know what I mean? All around South London, but South really. I signed a deal in about February. I guess I'm the, the A&R at the Big Data really. I, I set the label up 11 years ago and now I kind of don't run it day to day. Jamie, Jamie Collins is the label manager so I, I deal with the artists and sign the new artists and all that sort of stuff. You know, I get loads of demos, speech from those people who rang me up saying can I come and see you? Can I come in and see you? And usually I just say no. It's really embarrassing. Someone comes in and they put their demo on and you don't like it and you sit there going, desperately trying to think of something nice to say. And it was one of those few occasions where someone comes in and puts a CD in and you think, oh, you know, that's great. So there we are. That was that. And then since that was about four years ago, it took a little while to sort things out from there, but that was the start. I think partly she's got a great voice, partly I think her lyrics are amazing and partly I met her and she's got a great personality. So I'm the first female artist on the label and I very strongly wanted to do something melodic. What you gonna do when things get on top just like a swing and you tired of all you win and say the same things, man, just say the same thing. A guy Wayne Lotech, who was in Lotech High Fights on Big Dada living in Australia. Um, he'd come over basically for a short time to do some work and pretty much in about two days we knocked out searching. On the album I got Roots Maneuver singing on an album. This is a major artist, you know, a major talent coming out of England, UK. The bigger than the paradox of, of UK hip hop or, or even hip hop, she's just an artist. She's using a lot of soul. She's, she's doing a good thing, and you know, I'm gonna love her. She's down with Lotech, that's my brethren, that's my family. You know, I've listened to her words for a long time, but Lotech's been working for, with her for quite a while now. I've, I've heard her words. I feel like a fan, I feel, you know, I feel, I feel like a, you know, I, I'm, I'm no way related to her, but I feel like a proud father, I feel like a proud cousin, a proud god brother. No, she's, she's amazing. The thing with, the thing with, like, with, for me, with, with music, usually when I'm writing a song, I'm kind of making the music in my head as well, or a fair idea, but I'm not trained in how to get that from an idea into coming out of the speaker. And Wayne was like the perfect person for that. So I was like, to the a and manager, I really want to do this. I have the ability to make some changes, in terms of how a UK, a black UK artist is viewed. I think if I didn't go out there, the, the album wouldn't have sounded the way it did. It, 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 going to Australia was a big, big influence on my life. I think probably, I don't want to say the biggest, but it's definitely one of the most memorable influences. Yeah. 